Greetings, I, the War Al, greets you, and welcome to another episode of Matchmaking Academy, where you are the star for all the wrong reasons. Don't worry, we're gonna work through those reasons and help you become not such a noob. Our hero today is Tom Collins. He is a Master Guardian Elite player, that's here, and he named himself after his favorite drink, which if you do so, you probably have a drinking problem, and you need to get some help. Well, Tom Collins, he had some questions about how to take Bombsite B on Cobblestone, something that I also have some trouble with. Uh, notice they're not going for a rush play here, they're going to be doing a delayed push, and because one of them has a Navi avatar, I think it's very clear that they're going to be delaying for a very long time. Tom Collins getting ready to throw smoke, dude, he's, ah, you should never throw smokes out in the open like that. He should be dead right now. If that player peeked him and shot him in the face, it would be a very, very short round and a very short video, wouldn't it? Well, he threw the smoke for crossing at Terrace, but he is waiting at this point. Engaging one player using an SMG. Interestingly enough, the CTs actually have enough money to buy fully. The Ts do not. Notice they only bought smokes. They had one flash. Tom has already thrown it. It's going to be a difficult take. So one thing we're going to be talking about are proper smokes, flashes, and such. Notice how long they're playing. We're at 55 seconds. Now is the time to push. Throw another smoke down there and push to Terrace, please. All right, CTs have fully rotated to B. We now have a player moving in from behind them as well. A Lurk player getting into position to finally end them. Tom finally decides it's time to pick this player, still waiting to push into the site. The Lurk players are starting to get kills. People are dying. People are dying. Oh, no. Oh, Tom. What a noob. What a noob. All right, we're going to hop in game and talk about how to take bombs like B and how Tom could have improved this. I'm a terrorist, and I want to take Bombsite B on Cobblestone, but first, I need to know the basics. So the first thing I'll show you is a complicated smoke that you probably don't need to know. This is a trick. This is a trick, guys. We normally, we do the tips. This time, we're going to do the tricks. We're tired of doing just the tip. We're going all the way. All right, so here's how it works. You're running up the stairs. You're getting ready to do a B rush. You're running up these stairs here. You look at the, uh, the flag. Look straight up into the air, and as you pass the threshold of cobblestone and sky, you let go. That's right, I call this a snack smoke, because uh, snacks is the only one probably technically gifted enough to throw it. It's like you're leaving the spawn, you're just like, whoa, did he just throw a smoke? Flies across the map and lands exactly where it needs to go. He probably came up with it. I don't know who came up with it, probably him. So I'm running up the stairs. We look here, look at the flag, look straight up into the sky, and throw it. Technically beautiful guys the one take wonder. I think I got it on the first try and it will land uh, Right here Now why this is great is let's say you're gonna be doing Yeah, it's good enough Let's say you're gonna be doing a B take a B rush and you're coming out quickly this smoke lands before this guy gets in place to throw His smoke so let's say I'm a CT. I'm moving in here to throw a defensive smoke. Oh my gosh I can't line it up now. I got this crap in my face normally when I throw a smoke to line it up I go like over here and I throw like that and it, it bounces off and lands right there to prevent a rush. I'm screwed, baby. I'm screwed when that comes down there super quickly. And uh, then you can just kind of like run right into the site. So let's now let's talk about the real stuff. Let's get back to the tips, guys. That was the trick. So, I mean, first thing, pop flashes. is actually pretty easy on this site. Kind of the standard one you need to know is as you're running in here, uh, you just kind of stand, look at the tree, and do a standing throw. And this one will pop kind of right out over the top in the tree and if you throw one of these pop flashes to go off in the tree it's very difficult for these guys to see them uh, notice they'll just kind of see this little glimmer right here and then it's kind of hard to see in the tree so a player playing this position playing right here uh, playing over at the chicken coop even a lot of these positions will get flashed by this and for the most part as you're just running in here and eventually if you're taking this site just throwing flashes over the wall while aiming where the tree kind of is is a good way to um, to flash the bomb site as you're pushing in. So those are good flashes to learn. Uh, the next thing are some smokes. Um, as you push in, this is the first angle you're gonna be worried about. Normally, they're gonna be throwing a defensive smoke right there. So you don't have to worry about this angle as much. Um, as you're moving out though, you gotta make sure you aim right here. Just in case the player has jumped up and is holding close. Then we kind of look there, then we look at the box. Sometimes a counter terrorist will push up and hold this angle right here. Waiting for you guys to push in or rarely here, which is kind of stupid. Sometimes you want a player to kind of run by like this to hold this spot. But um, if you want to throw your smokes, you kind of have to take that first. And then kind of the best smoke throwing position is right here by this box. So you can't be seen by the terrorists. You can just kind of chill and you've opened up this huge little fun gallery for throwing smokes. 
Um, and you can pretty much throw every smoke that you need to throw from this position. Um, so, the first one, I guess, this one's pretty common. This is kind of one that everybody knows. You look at the in between the spire and in between the boxes right there, and you just do a standing throw. This one will land uh, right here and kind of block off the, the door area. That was thrown 100% perfectly, by the way. There's, there's no way they can see through this. Even if they come and try to see over the top, they're just looking at this wall right here. So, that was a perfect smoke. Um, you can, like, this one's obvious why it's good. Uh, it kind of helps prevent a rotate from coming down there. It's also good if you're going to be taking, uh, drop at the same time, because you don't want to smoke off the drop position if you're coming down drop. So that one's a good one to throw if you are taking drop. Um, kind of your bread and butter smoke. Let's say that you're completely alone, your team's not communicating, you're solo queuing, uh, like I do, or like I used to do. I know you guys want solo queue to global. I know you want that video. We gotta edit it, baby. We gotta do the work. I played the games already. This is your bread and butter smoke for solo queue. I need to cross and get to Terrace and try to get some headshots, tap it to taps, right? You do a running throw while looking at this box. It'll go poop right down, and you're going to be able to cross here. That one was actually not perfect because there's a little bit of a gap right here. Uh, so I'm gonna throw it again. This time with a smoke in my way. That one was 100% perfect. That's the one you should be throwing. I made a little mistake, but we're doing a one take, so we're going to keep going. All right. So once this smoke goes down, you kind of throw that same flash we talked about before, pushing out here, and you're going to take Terrace. Um, another great thing to throw when you're doing this is a Molotov. Um, you can throw it kind of to the right side of the box with a running throw like this. It'll bounce twice, pop up, and lands right here on the staircase. And this will force a staircase player to either push up the box or fall uh, fall back. It just means you don't have to worry about this new angle um, right here. And this is a tough one to deal with. I don't like this angle. So that Molotov is actually worth it. Uh, it's 400 bucks to block off that position. So you got the smoke, you got the Molotov, you've thrown the flash, you're pushing out, you get by, you gotta check that angle just, you just gotta check it. Clear the box, clear this area. And once you get to this point at this box, you can start wrecking faces, right? You gotta check here for that player who fell back. Gotta check the chicken coop, gotta check there. Now you've got a little shooting gallery, and you just gotta like, you just gotta shoot faces off, guys. You just gotta go for that pick. If you got multiple players moving in, it makes sense to try to push out a little bit more. Now let's say, uh, in the case of our, our player Tom Collins, he had a friend with him, he had a buddy. So, we could throw some uh, like double smoke plays, uh, instead of throwing just that one smoke right there. I'm just proving that I know how to do it. I did it wrong, just screw it. All right, let's continue. As we talked about before, this is a great place to throw um, uh, smokes from. You can throw every smoke you need to throw from this position. So here's the next one. This is a medium throw. So note, look at the hands. Look at the hand on the bottom left, right? I think my face is there, so we might have to move my face for this one. I press left click, right click at the same time, and notice how the hand changes. That means I'm doing a medium throw. I have both, both of them pressed, all right? So I look at this wood, pause. We look up at the uh, spire, just about right there. And then we let go. It's a medium throw. Should bounce. Boop, 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 boop. And this is the smoke we talked about before, but we throw it from a uh, from a position more uh, close up here. So you can throw this one at the same time as you throw that smoke, and it's really good for taking the site. Another smoke you can throw. Let's say you want to smoke up right there and there at the same time. This is another one that you can throw from this position. Run in here. Look at the left side of the wood this time. Look up to kind of the top of the spire area and let go. And this one should land. If I screw up, it lands there, but it should land there. Perfect. Perfect. So you can see how if you have both of those smokes down, you just have to worry about this right here as you move by. You have combat this like long range completely blocked off. This is good if you're doing like a Tech 9 um, eco rush into the site. Just throwing those two smokes is great because you blocked off the site. You just Now you're engaging at close range. Uh, where the Tech 9 is going to be a little bit more useful. You maybe even try this on pistol rounds, so you got two people buy smokes for that. I don't know. I don't know, kids. Go crazy. Make up your own fun strats. What do I care? I'm just showing you the basics, right? So those are some fun things you can throw. Here's another, like, alternate position to throw the uh, the other smoke from. Walk up here. Look in the in between here and look right there. And Oh, I scrapped! We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. We're almost done. All right. All right. And now we've taken the site area of B. Now it's just a matter of planting. Um, they've fixed it, so you can't you can't do this anymore, guys. Look. Oh, my gosh. Did it still work? Okay, so that's a good plant spot. If you can get it inside of the plant, 
get it, plant spot, plant. You can hide the bomb, which is nice, but for the most part, you're just gonna be like hopping over here and planting in the site safe while somebody watches your other position here. Um, and planting safe is fine because you can watch it from from a, um, B main as well. You can watch the safe plant from pretty much everywhere that you need to uh, once you've taken the site. So that's taking B, guys. One more Molotov I forgot to talk about. This one you probably need to throw. If you think a player is chicken coop and he's waiting for you, um, throw it on the left side. Do a running throw like that. This will block off the entire chicken coop. And once this is thrown, he will naturally run out this way. So throw that, aim right here, free kill. Thank you folks very much for watching, and thank you Tom for sending in this demo and being such a good sport. I hope learnings were accomplished and such. It's time for me to go now and float back up into the nest of the old sycamore tree. I'll be back someday to teach you Counter-Strike and make, a, make an ass of myself, pretty much. Thank you folks for watching!